Well, Peter, Last of Us was a huge game of 2013. That was the biggest game, one yep. might, might say. So. Yeah, uh, it certainly got a lot of praise from New Game Plus as well as other publications, and it certainly yep. deserved it. But the long-awaited DLC is finally out, left behind, yes. and uh, we're both... And I'm very happy yeah. it's not a multiplayer DLC. Yes, it's yes. It adds to the story. It's yes. Great. Uh, it's good seeing... Well, this is Ellie's story. Yeah. When we play The Last of Us, it is Joel's story, apart from a few chapters. So it's good to see uh, something a bit different. I yeah, say. and it's good to fill in some gaps that were in the first release of the game with Ellie, like in the in, in the section yeah. that's covered in the, the DLC. Yeah. So uh, of course, focusing on Ellie, it is a prequel. Well, most of it is the prequel. Yes. Uh, it explores the relationship of Ellie and a friend, friend of hers, Riley. Riley yeah, yeah. Uh, before Joel and Ellie meet, of course, and and while yeah. she's still in like a school kind of environment yeah, the, where she's being trained under the soldiers' to, rule and all that, and the fireflies come in as well. Yeah, and it's, uh, I think when you look when you compare the two experiences, uh, the Last of Us was certainly more of a game, and this is certainly more of just. Naughty Dog sitting you down and telling you a story. Yes. Yeah, the gameplay has been, I suppose, simplified because it's not so much about the survival, yeah. it's more about the narrative and, and things like that. Yeah. So, whereas The Last of Us was survival, like hunting for items and scavenging yeah. and that, there's less of this in this uh, game. Especially now that you don't have to make shivs because yes, Ellie you've has got her a unbreakable switch uh, switchblade. And uh, while that does help in some respects, you do still feel... It cheapens it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you're certainly weaker than Joel as like a one but versus one But that being said, person. Ellie can't wield like a, a big scissors on, yeah, on a big uh, on a steel baseball pipe bat or a baseball or anything, yeah. bat or um, a hatchet. So there, so. there are some... Trade-offs. Trade-offs, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think... we're. Obviously, it's Naughty Dog, so it's a very cinematic experience. And, and it looks beautiful. It does. Again, um, the quality is way up there. It's all set, well, it's set in a mall, but two different seasons, so there's a good contrast. Yeah. And I think just the way that the story is told, uh, it's, a really, it's a really good story, but it's only, well, what did you say, 90 minutes, two hours long? Yeah. Depending yeah. on how many mistakes you make it's or good, uh, how yeah. hard the difficulty is as well. It's a good, it's a good story though to follow yeah. for those ninety minutes. You don't want to miss a, a second of the narrative. Yeah, uh, when you do look at the price though, you might think it's a bit expensive, but yeah, uh, uh, it is Naughty Dog though. Yes, like, the yeah. quality is there. Like, it, yeah. if you enjoyed Last of Us story, you will definitely enjoy this story. Yes, uh, while it's not so much a game, it is definitely an experience.